Hello, hello, hello once again, guys and girls. State of Decay returns. I am packing for E3 as we speak, but I can't get enough of this game, so we're going to bring it back to you guys. Keep smashing that like button. If you're having fun and want to see more, I definitely appreciate the support. It definitely helps the series continue in this long-form fashion. It's one of the first I've ever done uh, with extra-long videos almost every part, so I hope you're really having fun. This is where the doctor is um, that we need to help save Ed, um, but I thought I was going to pick up this stranger in trouble first, see if they had any goods for us, and then make our way over to the doctor, since it's kind of on the way. I'll check this out next. Wow, the wall is also kind of on the way, so we better be careful and... and uh, Go out the back entryway since we've only used that front entrance once or twice. Alright, well. I've heard a lot of people say, you know, that this game has more packed into it than most, um, you know, full price $60 games. $20 is a, is, a, is a big price for a downloadable game, at least from what we're, we're used to on the Xbox 360 um, and PlayStation Network. Uh, but I don't think that that's too high of a price point when Attention. the game. Whoa. All civilians currently squatting okay. in this godforsaken I'm, valley. I'm sorry. This is the army. And since you apparently can't figure it out for yourself, we are better armed, armored, and equipped than a bunch of drunk hillbillies with hunting rifles. So don't go thinking you can force us to take you away from all of this, because we will shoot you. Great. Thoroughly. They sound real friendly. Um, what I was saying was, like, you know, initially when the Xbox Live Arcade started, I think it was supposed to kind of be $5 games, and then they, you know, gradually 10 was the norm, and then 15 became the norm, and... I think as we move towards the next generation, you'll see $20 even more becoming the norm, and it's it's kind of uh, a lot, but but if you think about it in terms of like what some PC games charge, um, as well as what you're getting for your money, like this is so worth $20, bucks. And, and I think the people that say, heck, this is worth more than two, you know, some two of, of some $60 games are absolutely right. We're going to help Eliza out here and save the day getting her back. It's just interesting to see all of a sudden the... Um, you know, that price point jumping. And I think a lot of it also has to do with mobile stuff, you know, in, in some ways as well. Um, because mobile games are continuing to test... Gosh, this feral guy is crazy. <laughs> Trying to have a conversation with my audience. Um, the mobile games are, are, you know, increasing in price as well. You've got games going, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars um, on, on your iPhone, on Android. And so at that point, it's like, man, we're putting so much effort into a game like this, State of Decay, you gotta charge 20 bucks. It only makes sense, it only seems fair. Um, as opposed to, oh, you know, put it out for $10. And, and I think if games are, are comfortable in that $20 price point, you're gonna get some much better games like this one, you know, and, and many more along the way um, as we move towards PlayStation 4 and, and better power, and especially with, at least for, for Sony, an increased focus on indies and, and cool stuff like this. I'm really hoping we'll get some awesome stuff. I cannot... Let my da 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 get back out of my face. Okay, reload. You really gotta shoot him in the head, otherwise they do not go dead. That's a neck shot. Don't even do nothing. Headshot though. Bam. All right. The only reason I did that was this. This wasn't Eliza, was it? Did she just take off? Maybe she ran back to base. Don't forget, you still need to go get Doc from the Barrett place. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. All right. All that was here was a backpack. I don't need that. Okay. Wow, that was a little bit intense, don't you think? I sure do. All right, um, we have one more survivor we could go take care of. No, that's a Zed hunt. Um, they're saying we should stock up, you know, before we do that next big mission. A lot of people are saying that they wanted me to check out this gun shop, so I'm going to run back, check out the gun shop, stock up on some goodies, and then uh, make my way out to the boondocks where the doc himself is living. Boondocks doc. doc Dr. Boondock. Um, whoa, please don't tip your car. I'm in the middle of a creepy field full of zombies. And it's nighttime again. Things seem so much more creepy at night in this game. But we're doing good. We're surviving well. I've heard that the infestations around the town, like, you know, these zombie hordes and things can, can move and can get closer and farther away from your, um, your home base. And I've been fortunate enough, I think, so far that they haven't gotten that far, you know, that close to my home, which is nice. Um, but I'm a little bit concerned because if they do, this car is about to light on fire. If they do come real close, we could be in nasty, nasty shape. I'm going to switch vehicles while I can. Anything in this car? I've always wondered if you could find a car with some, like, uh, actual stuff in it. You know, like a, a bag of, uh, what do you call it, supplies? Construction supplies. That seems to be the most valuable resource. Obviously, we don't want our people to die. 
without enough meds or, or food, but I kind of have a lot of that. All right, there is a gun shop over here. I got a lot of requests in the comments. I do read those guys and girls uh, to check this out, and so I figured I would honor it for you. Um, there are zombies coming. Hang on, let me deal with these guys. I don't know if they're gonna make it all the way down here. It shows like they're a horde, but even if there's only one, like you notice down the minimap, it, they still show up as a horde until you kill all of them, which is a little bit of an odd choice. Okay. Gun shop, close the door. I wish I could board it up. Can I board it up? Well, anyways, we're gonna see what's up in here. Funny enough, I walked into this gun shop at PAX East earlier this year when I was playing the demo of the game. They kind of just gave you a little section to explore. And I walked in here and did it. Random box of ammo, grenade launcher ammo. This is a rucksack, so we might as well take it. I'm loaded up. Um, see you back at base. There's a lot of we'll stuff in here. Let's look and see what we're going to find. More guns. I'd like some health. I feel like the pills and stuff is what I'm the lowest on right now. Um, more ammo. A tomahawk. Ooh. Cheap rock. Look up a brutal. It's only... We can repair weapons, nice. though, so I'm going to investigate that, and I'm going to get back to base as well. Can I jump over this? Maya, you can climb over ridges, but not over the little thing of a bob. All right. All right, here we go. Got to search it where the doors open, not where the glass shines. There's a creepy fish on the wall. What was over here? A moose or something? I like the poker. I'm going to take him just because we can always drop him off at the stash. I am encumbered, though. This is not good. Big, big, big uh, stash here. You guys are right. Not a lot of guns, just ammo and, and weapons, but hey, that's a good find when most often we just find nothing or we find some uh, some snacks. Snacks are very common. Backpacks are very common. This must have been a town of very uh, well-educated people or at least people who care about school because there are backpacks everywhere. This could melt a truck engine. Thermite. Hmm. Eat that snack. Didn't really need to, but... That way I can take this. I'm encumbered right now, which is not good. Let's quickly go upstairs. Why is the gun shop even upstairs, by the way? What secrets does up here hold? I kind of wish there was, like, some rare loot drops or something. I know it's not a loot-based game, but wouldn't that be cool if, like, all of a sudden you found, like, you found a nuclear missile launcher. No. Um, a, I don't know, a chainsaw. Maybe eventually we will. I wonder, you know, how much, how much stuff gets upgraded. I think there's a zombie in that door. Sure sounds like it, or at least downstairs or something. <laughs> not quite sure. Remain at flares. Not really that great. Sounds like I've got company. Sounds like I've got company. Yeah, there are two coming up. I'm encumbered, so stamina's gonna drain while sprinting. Ooh. Cool shotgun. Okay. Let's kill the guys that are coming up for me first. Actually. Um... Might as well just take the meds, grab the gun, and get out of here. I'm going to be encumbered, but I'm going to drive back. I'm not going to nice. sprint. So it's okay. We cleared out the gun shop. Oh, my God. The back door is Paul Satan. Ooh, you have joined us in this. Sometimes we miss, and I don't know why we're missing. I'm right there. <laughs> Hit detection's a little bit off every once in a while. All right. I need a breather. I need a breather. Yeah, my stamina is going down, down, down. I forgot we should not be sprinting around as an encumbered Maya. All right, um, quickly go back to church, and then we'll go get the doctor, man. Hopefully he can help Ed out. What is this? Oh, just a drive-through. We've been there before. We've been to a majority of the buildings around this this area this of town. Uh-oh. Earlier today, our scouts informed me that they have identified multiple infestations in the downtown Marshall area. Based on this information, and for your own safety, I'm declaring a lockdown, effective immediately and until further notice. What? This is a matter for the police, and they will deal with it. Here comes the judge. What is she locking down? The entire city? Are we supposed to stay inside? I've got stuff to do. I can't stay inside. Bust open that gate with your shoulder charge. All right, morale is pretty high. Everything's going good. Picking up some influence. There you go. Don't say I never gave you anything. Don't say I never gave you anything. Um, oh, you know, stuff. Okay, we can drop off this poker, drop off this thermite. I don't really need that right now. Um, a shotgun, I think, is going to be so freaking loud. I don't really want to take that with me. Good, there's a lot of meds now, or at least two of them. There's never enough. Never enough, never enough. Um, stores max stamina. I would rather have snacks, but... 
All right, let's check where the repair and stuff is going on. Um, is that at the workshop? Can I repair here? That repairs cars, so I'm guessing I can repair weapons. Um, that's out the back. Let's go check it out real quick. Just see what it's like before. I should probably turn my flashlight on. Is this the workshop? Am I at the workshop? Do I access it from the menu or from here? Construction expertise. Oh, it automatically repairs and reinforces weapons each day. Okay. I don't have to do it myself. It just takes care of it each day. So if I take breaks between plane, I'm going to have some uh, some well-repaired weaponry. Um, let's see. How does this work? What's this like? Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to dump off the poker. And the music's so calm here. I feel like I'm freaking riding Splash Mountain at Disney World. Um, like the calm parts. But uh, we'll drop off the poker. And I've got Tussin, I've got Energy Drink, I've got a Suppressor. Fire bombs in case I absolutely need them. And I think we're good. Alright. Doctor Man, we're coming for you as fast as we can. Doctor, Doctor, please come by us. We need you to save Ed. Uh, I mean, really, how many people do we have? Is it 13? 12 now? 13. No, 12. Alright, so that's the bad car. This is... Wait, wait, wait. What happened to the truck I just brought? Is this the truck I just brought back? Oh yeah, we left our bloody truck a long time ago, way far away. All right. Looks like the moment passed. What? The Zed hunt has expired, but Sam survived, so it's okay. She took care of it herself. She's a big, strong girl. I like that sometimes the the characters in the game just handle the stuff for you. You know, they don't they don't really make you. Oh, we need to stock up on medicine. Okay. Disease epidemic is the rumor around town. Don't sound too good. Um, and try to get out the back way here, make a left-hand turn as soon as we can. What I was saying was I like that they go and, and handle some of the stuff for you. I'm guessing sometimes they will fail or, or die or just completely crap out, but where am I going? Okay. Follow this, this around and, and wiggle it back to the main way. Nighttime driving. I kind of want to wait till the daytime to take on this dock, but who needs safety? We're just gonna charge in with reckless abandon and make it happen. Bam! Blasting the zombies. It looked like there was like a gunshot or something up ahead. I don't think there really was, but it's kind of how it looked as we traveled to the old farmhouse way far away from our home base. As we oh, a survey point. Should we survey the area? Up on top of this billboard? Can we climb up there? Hmm. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Let's do it. I'm glad that there's interactivity with the environments, opening doors, climbing ladders, like, it would really be a stinky game if it wasn't like that. Or not, not a stinky game, but it just wouldn't be, it adds so much to the, 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 I don't know, the sense of immersion by having all that in there, okay. There is a horde of zombies Mate. down there. Gonna look around now. Oh my goodness gracious. Some Xbox Live features were updated, okay, well. I am not connected to Xbox Live, I'm so sorry. We'll have to fix that later. Gotcha. Throwing updates at me while I'm in the middle of playing games, Microsoft. What are you up to? Houses, vehicles, magical trees, trailer park, warehouse. Warehouse could have some good stuff. Is that everything? Normally it gives you a little, like, chick chick, but there's no... Hmm. Where is the last thing? Up in the sky, look at the moon. I can't find anything. Are these guys all down here waiting for me? Yeah, they are. I'm not sure why it's telling me to still survey. I don't see any more question marks. If I am, I am feel like I'm going blind, but nothing. I don't know. I guess we got it. You going to be okay down here? Okay, it, it's showing the horde symbol because that was the remnants of a horde, but it's not the full horde, which is good. Okay. Oh, it's a pretty good amount, though. Ah! Wow, what a dodge. What an epic dodge as I get in the car. And <laughs> let's go. Turn on those keys and drag this guy. 
Away, away, away. Life-size Jurassic Junction. Where the heck are they taking this? Whoa, Norma. I think you've been flipped and really hurt, Maya. Oh, God. And they're getting chased by this tomahawk action. Bam. All right. I'm in trouble. All my cars are broken, broken. Chased by zombies late night. Bam. Oh, my God. My car is going up in flames. Reload. Whoa. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Does this have the suppressor on it? Is that the best it can? Oh, it doesn't. I'm going to head down to the courthouse and see what's going on. I can't attach it to the thing? Why not? Oh, there's already one on here, I guess. All right. Head down to the courthouse. Well, first, I'm supposed to be chasing after Doc. Are we getting close to him? Wow, he's way off in this, like, crazy path. I guess I was supposed to take a left turn. A ways back, but I'll do it up here instead with this new car. Bullets aren't as valuable as I thought, so I kind of have fun taking out a few of them with my gun, gun, gun. All right. New car. This one looks pretty modern. Our first, like, it's a brand new car. And it's actually a brand new car. It's not like a, a crazy, psychotic old thing. It turns like a goofball, though. Very bad turning radius. Can I bust through the fence, you think? Nope. Okay. Am I going to be able to get over this mountain here, you think? No. All right. Might have to... Retrace our steps a tiny bit, but this is a fast car, so no worries. I was sad to see uh, our, us tip our, our, our dump truck, but it was pretty cool to watch it kaboom blow up in the middle of the night. Didn't even know that could happen. Again, this game is running on CryEngine, which it doesn't... I mean, you think of Crisis when you think of CryEngine. Obviously, it doesn't look like that, but it is pretty cool that they, they've implemented that engine in a downloadable title. Like this one. All right. Wow. Wind around. Christmas tree. Bowl down the zombie horde. Whoop. Okay, it's right back here. I missed it again. It's a really tiny dirt road. That's why. Taking our way off to the dude's house. Doc... What's his name? Doc what? Doc Hansen. Okay. Well, that's probably not a good idea. You do have a pulse on the minimap. If you look at the minimap when I honk the horn, it makes like a... a what do we call it? Like a, a sound or zone to uh, indicate how much trouble you're stirring by making your booms and your busts and your horn honkins and all that. Alright, I feel like this car is really going slow all of a sudden. Maybe it's because I ran into too many zombies or something. Hey, get off my car, get off my farm. Leave us alone, police. We're almost there though, I think, right? Yes, we are. Go around this bend, because it's up in the mountains, it looks like. At least a little bit elevated. All the leaves falling off the trees, and here we are at the farmhouse. Who's that there on the road? That's me. Huh? We don't take kindly to unexpected guests. Whoa. You can kindly fuck right off. Okay. Um, that guy at the farmhouse don't like me. Let's go over to the doctor's house. He lives in... Uh, this is where he lives? A freaking haunted mansion out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, let's see what's up. Where's Doc Hansen? We need to get going. Doc says Eli ain't good to move. Mm -hmm. So we ain't moving. I don't know if you noticed... But there's a whole mess of them fuckers working their way over here. That's right, Mickey. So why don't we put our friend here to work? Fine, you hold her hand. I'm gonna go check on Eli. That's your call whether you want to help or be a pain in my ass. Because I'd be more than happy to nail you to a tree and use you as bait. All right, then. Let's get to work. Follow Job inside. This seems a little dangerous. In we go to the creepy house. Hello? What are we gonna do in here? When they come, there's gonna be a lot of them. We need to set up defenses where we can, alright? 
Let's start by boarding up these here windows. There should be some scrap lumber in there that'll serve. Okay, fortify the farmhouse. We're gonna barricade this place up real nice and good. This is where we gotta hold them. I guarantee you, we don't want this thing turning into a room to room fight. Zombies ain't smart. They never quit. <laughs> they never quit. Oh god, and neither will we. The big showdown taking place next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I board up these windows, don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying the series and ready for more. And till next time, guys and girls, we'll make some fire bombs and freaking uh, hold off the world. Boarding up the windows, it should be a good time. Can't wait for the next part. Hope you can't either. Until that time, guys and girls, fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all. Later.